Scientific computing requires writing mathematical expressions in MATLAB. In this video, I'll show you how to write these expressions. Let's go through the basic operators and functions in MATLAB. For the operators, we have plus and minus, times and divide, exponentiation is the hat symbol, and an apostrophe takes the transpose of a matrix. Now let's look at the basic mathematical functions and numbers in MATLAB. The basic trig functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. LOG for the natural logarithm and LOG10 for the base 10 logarithm. SQRT for the square root function. ABS for the absolute value function. It can also be used to take the modulus of a complex number. The number pi is given by pi, all lowercase letters, and the imaginary unit can be written as i or j. I like to use one i because I tend to use i as a different variable in my programs. j tends to be used by electrical engineers because i is used for the electrical current. Two special numbers are INF for infinity and NAN for not a number. Not a number is what you get when you try to compute a 0 divided by 0 or an infinity minus infinity. If your program computes not a number, it usually means you have a bug. Infinity is what you get from a non-zero number divided by 0. Getting an infinity from your program may also mean a bug. Or you can use it as an upper limit of an improper integral, or minus infinity as a lower limit. Let's go try some of these operators and functions in MATLAB. Let's try and type some commands into the command window. The Euler number is the exponential function of 1, 2.7183. Um, the natural logarithm of the Euler number should give us 1, and it does. Um, the golden ratio, let me call that capital Phi, is equal to uh, the square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2. You need the parentheses here. That's 1.618. It's an irrational number. Uh, the golden ratio conjugate, um, PHI lowercase, is equal to the square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 is actually the fractional part of the golden ratio. Uh, the product of these two, um, capital Phi times little Phi, is actually 1. Uh, they're the uh, multiplicative inverses of each other. But we don't get 1, we get 1.0000. 1 what that means is that there's a slight round-off error. So if we look at the IEEE number using this format hex and look at the previous answer, what does 1 look like? It is this 3FF followed by a string of zeros with a 1 at the end. 1 by itself doesn't have that uh, uh, trailing 1 at the end. So here you see a little bit of round-off error when you multiply two uh, irrational numbers. Uh, we can go back to the default format. Um, actually, the format I'm using is compact. So we'll go format compact. Uh, let me clear the screen. CLC clears the command window. Um, let's look at some infinities. So 1 divided by 0 should give us infinity. 
Uh, likewise, minus 1 divided by 0 will give us minus infinity. Uh, not a number would be 0 divided by 0 uh, is not a, a number. Or inf minus inf is also not a number. Um, if you don't want the output, you can suppress it. We can set x equal to 0. Semicolon means don't give us any output y equal to 0. And uh, we've assigned x to 0, y to 0, but we've suppressed the output. For instance, if you do 2 times x now, it will give us 0. We've been using MATLAB on the command line. For real problems, we need to write scripts or functions. Let's look at that next. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.